Hello, everyone, and welcome to our English channel, which includes uh, English from the very beginning to the very end, and uh, topic discussions in English. Yes, in this video, we are going to concentrate on personal development. Yes, of course, it is a vast, comprehensible, and complex uh, subject but let's try uh, to uh, just attract an attention to it. Of course, uh, as you know, our main purpose is uh, to uh, practice our English speaking. Yes, speaking English, uh, try to speak English uh, both accurately and fluently. Okay, I hope it will contribute to your uh, English Development, yeah, English uh, enhancement, improvement. Okay, let's start with the uh, ChatGPT's introduction, in fact. Okay, ChatGPT, will you write an introduction for this PowerPoint presentation text in 25 words? Yes. Now, this is the heading by ChatGPT. Unveiling. Re, uh, reveal, uh, revealing, revealing, sorry, uh, revealing, uncovering, disclosing personal growth and learning. In the journey of personal development, we navigate a world of choices, intelligences, and personalities. Join us as we explore the multifaceted fa facets of self discovery and evolution, of course, by means of self-knowledge. Yes, out of sight, out of mind, uh, means si physical distance causes emotional distance. Yeah. Of course, uh, the more we are interested in uh, reading, listening, uh, speaking, and writing English, the more we will improve our English, the more we develop our English. This is a fact, yes. Okay, this is the first slide of our presentation about personality development or personal development. Dialogue one. Multiple choices means several different answers or responses, choices uh, of one question. Yes, remember the multiple choice uh, tests, yes. What does multiple intelligence means? Of course, uh, it is not a test, but uh, multiple intelligence, uh, multiple intelligences uh, mean means more than uh, one way, more than one way of learn uh, of learning something new. For example, to be a visual learner, to be a kinesthetic learning. Of course, uh, we don't have to choose one of them. Maybe we choose one of them, and we can also make uh, use of the other uh, ways, the other approaches, techniques. Okay, the image says personal growth is connected with vision, motivation. Yes, these are all beautiful expressions. Goals, we should have a goal. Uh, we should have motivation uh, first and foremost. Yes, pluffing is cultivating uh, and development, of course, is also connected with development. Okay, anyway, now uh, the last question. Do we have to choose one choice of one intelligence or one intelligence as we do in a multiple choice question? Do we have to choose one choice of one intelligence as we do? No, of course, we don't have to. Maybe one of them is more, uh, one of them is closer, closer to our uh, way of studying something. So we choose one of them, but we don't neglect, we don't ignore the others as well. Okay, multiple intelligences is a theory, as you know, uh, 
hypothesis about different ways, types of learning. Do you think it's a matter of choosing just one of those learning types or using more than one when necessary? Of course, when necessary, we uh, we uh, can choose. Uh, we can we easily choose the other, in fact, use, yes, we can easily use the other uh, types. Okay, for example, if we are a visual visual learner, or if we, uh, if we think that visual learning style is uh, more dominant on us, then uh, it doesn't mean that we just uh, choose it, but we have to use the kinesthetic type of learning, oral type of learning and uh, the other types of learning. Maybe I am a looker, observer, or a listener. Do you think you are a toucher, kinesthetic learner, or a logical learner? I think I am a kinesthetic learner because I can learn easily. I, I think that, of course, I think that I can learn easily by touching something, by doing something, but, but I also uh, think that I can easily make use of the uh, logical learning type. Maybe you are a body wire. There are also alternative, uh, alternative uh, expressions for uh, learning types. Let's enrich our vocabulary as well. Let me read the uh, image first. Social learner, for example, or interpersonal. Yes, interpersonal uh, learner. Interpersonal learners are also called social learners. Yes, interpersonal, intrapersonal. Yeah, intrapersonal is the opposite of it. Maybe you are a body wise. Yeah, body wise, body smart. Yeah, kinesthetic learn. Instead of saying kinesthetic learner, we can say, I am a body wise learner. I am a body smart learner. Yeah. Logic wise, logic, uh, logic wise learner, uh, logical uh, learner, uh, word wise learner, word wise, yeah, word wise learner. People wise, instead of saying a social learner, it is also possible to use the expression people wise learner. Music wise, yes, music wise learner. Music smart, yeah, music smart. Are you a right brain dominant? Yes, right brain dominant or left brain dominant thinker or person or learner? Yes, let's see uh, some information about uh, the right brain dominant and left brain dominant, okay. Uh, I think it is better to read the image. If you if we take a look at the right uh, right side of the brain, as you see, it is related to art. Yes, it is related to beauty, aesthetics, imagination, memory, and creativity, creative, creativity, imagination. Yeah, uh, music, emotion, instinct. Yeah, this is the. Uh, left uh, brain dominant dominant uh, learner order uh, order the uh, left side of our brain uh, left brain dominant uh, person is rational objective of course symbolic math uh, it can be. we can say i think it is a mathematical learner analytical learner the yeah, analytic and digital uh, learner of course it is also includes all scientific patterns scientific rules scientific facts yes they can easily grasp those uh, information okay a right brain dominant uh, the pink part a right brain dominant thinker is thought to be more subjective and intuitive. How is a left brain thinker thought to be? So a left brain dominant thinker or person is thought to be more objective, unbiased, objective and logical instead of intuitive, 
and logical. How is a left brain thinker thought to be? Sorry, can you find out whether you are right brain or left brain? Maybe we can say that, or maybe I can say that I am a more, a more uh, right brain, right, uh, right brain dominant person uh, than uh, than left brain dominant. Yes, I am more uh, more uh, left brain thinker than uh, right brain thinker. Okay. What is personality? Let's see the definition of it. Personality is our all typical physical, mental, emotional, and behavioral features that make us different from other, that distinguishes, that dis distinguishes us from the other, that differs us, that differs us from the other people. Does ethics, ethics means, by the way, distinguishing between right and wrong. Yes, does ethic or personality determine how we behave towards other people? Of course, there is a close connection uh, between them. Uh, at, uh, at the first sight, uh, at the first sight, we think that both of them are uh, both of them are about distinguishing between right and wrong. But uh, experts say that uh, ethics determine. Yes, ethics uh, first and foremost determine how we behave towards other, other people and our personality uh, hinges on yeah, hinges on those ethical ethical standards yes again let's see the image about personal development and what uh, what it is related to it is related to mental physical spiritual social uh, emotional uh, sides of us yes emotional uh, aspects of us attitude when it comes to attitude uh, of course uh, our attitude also transforms yeah transforms also develops uh, towards the ideal attitude starting from physical attitude uh, scientific attitude, emotional attitude, and uh, in the end, ethical attitude, the ideal attitude. Our attitude needs maturing. Yeah. Uh, it isn't uh, static. Yes, it, is, it isn't static. Uh, it needs to grow, flow, rise. It needs to elevate. Our attitude needs maturing, growing, all physically, mentally, emotionally, and ethically. Does it mean our knowledge and emotions also need maturity? Of course. For example, when we learn something new, of course, it also uh, it also uh, needs uh, needs maturing. Yeah, it also needs maturing. Uh, by doing, by performing it, by applying it again and again. Okay, the image says, change your attitude and we, and it change your attitude and it will change your life. Really true. Okay, anonymous. It is said by unknown. Okay, by unknown person. Okay, it is the uh, common sense i think yeah common sense common prudence okay change your attitude and it will change your life beautifully ideally change your attitude positively and it will change your life positively what's the relation between our mind self-control conscience free will and responsibility of course, uh, they are uh, different uh, in meaning, but uh, of course, we can easily guess that 
there is a, there should be a harmony and accordance, a coherence between all of them. They are maybe the tools of our cell. Okay. Why is our ability to choose called free will, but not free intellect or free emotion? Yes, it is really a critical question. Free will, willing something, desiring something. So we can say that uh, choosing something, preferring something is all about desiring one thing, willing something, not about knowing. Yeah, it is not about knowing, uh, etc. In the first place, it means that it is about uh, willing something and choosing something as a result. Okay, a steerman. So who is the steerman here? Uh, yes, I think the free will is the uh, steerman and intelligence helps that steerman uh, how to choose. Yes, uh, with, with emotion of emotion also helps, uh, helps free will to choose how to how to choose, yes, beautifully or in an ugly way. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, uh, a few, two lines from a poem uh, by Necip Fazıl, a great Turkish poet. Being a decent person is not a matter of gender. Is not a matter of being a lady or a gentleman. It's a matter of personality. Yeah, it rhymes in the Turkish form, but it doesn't rhyme in the translation form. Adam olmak, to be a man of dignity and integrity. Adam olmak, to be a man of dignity and integrity. İnsan evladı olmak. Cinsiyet meselesi değil, şahsiyet meselesidir. Yeah, cinsiyet, şahsiyet. Gender, personality. Okay, a bad attitude is like a flat tire. You can't go anywhere till you change it. So that bad attitude needs to be changed into, developed into, transformed into good attitude. Yes, it is possible. Every individual can do this, can can move from the from the bad attitude, from the bad point to the good point, to the good attitude. Okay, personal development and its components. Yeah. Uh, it's all about them, self-awareness, including identity, quality of life, yes, our dreams, aspirations. A consistency is associated with credibility. If you have credibility, it means that you can easily uh, you can easily establish uh, establish consistency, or you can easily go forward uh, consistently. Okay, it is an important quality in personality development. Uh, what was it? What is it? It is a credibility. As consistency is associated with credibility, it is an important quality in personality development. Yeah, consistency is a, a, a quality in important quality in personality development. Why is having the sense of innovation also as vital as consistency? Uh, because without doing something new. Uh, without uh, action, we cannot think of uh, an ideal personality, an ideal attitude. We have to try positive, uh, new, novel things. Yes, consistency builds credibility. As long as there is consistency in our lives, uh, there is always credibility, or vice versa. As long as there is credibility, there will always consistency in our lives. 
a split personality, unfortunately, which means two or more personalities, multiple personality. If there is consistency between consciousness and behavior, the mood of a person does not change up abnormally. When may the mood of a person change very often? Of course, uh, when there isn't, when there isn't uh, consistency between conscience and behavior, uh, the mood of that person may change very often. Yes. Be the best version of you, of yourself. Yes. Be the best transformation of your self. Yes, of course it is possible. Maybe that is why uh, we are uh, trying to do something. Okay, everything we do, I think is connected with to be the best version of us, of each of us. If we wonder, a tulip is a wonder, is excellent, fantastic. A tulip is fantastic. This is noun here, but if we wonder means if we really want to know, if we really want to understand, a tulip is a wonder. Isn't it also a wonder to be able to ponder? Of course, it is really magical. Yes, how? How can I be able to think? How can I? How is it possible that I am able to ponder, contemplate? Yes, this is also a wonder. Of course, if we wonder, if we want to learn. Having an objective, having a target, having a goal, uh, having a purpose is a good tip to motivate ourselves because it uh, attracts us from the future. Yeah. Uh, when we have an objective, when we have an objective, does the obligation come from outside or from inside. Of course, that beautiful, attractive obligation comes from inside of us, from the inter from our internal world, psychological world, from our from our self, from our uh, spiritual world. Is it an obligation or responsibility? Of course it is an it is a responsibility. A nice obligation, an attractive obligation. Be, do, have. Uh, who must I be? What must I do so that I can have, yes, I can have those high targets. Yes. Be, who am I and what is important to me then do what are the actions the necessary steps to do and have what what shall we have in the end have what are the results and uh, outcomes outcomes yes so this is really good i think life is all about being doing and having something okay can you motivate yourself or are you motivated by external factors to be do and have something of course but mostly yes mostly i am motivated uh, by uh, internal uh, internal uh, factors but it doesn't mean that uh, external factors uh, do not motivate me. They also motivate me. Uh, but mostly, uh, I can motivate myself. Or I am motivated. Yes, let's make a passive sentence. Mostly, I am motivated by uh, internal factors. To be, to do, and to have something. This is my ideal. In fact, I really want to be motivated. I really want to be motivated by in, internal factors. Uh, besides, uh, let let's not say but but besides external factors factors. Uh, 
It's also a good way to be motivated by external factors. What is the better way to be motivated? Of course, in my opinion, as I said in the previous page, uh, it is a better way for me to be motivated, to be motivated by internal factors. Okay, ChatGPT. Now, uh, thank you for your uh, writing uh, introduction. Now, please uh, write a summary for this PowerPoint presentation, text in 40 words. This presentation delves into, explores yeah, the realm of personal development, addressing topics like multiple intelligences, personality, ethics, and self-improvement. It encourages exploration of uh, diverse learning styles and the complex interplay of mind, self-control, and motivation, ultimately promoting holistic growth. Yes, promoting, encouraging, uh, motivating holistic growth. Okay, thank you for listening. And uh, I hope uh, it uh, will be useful for you. And uh, bye for now. Uh, see you uh, next time in the next video. Have a good day.